Fishing for sharks on the Port Elizabeth coastline, and there's a couple of sharks that you can target. One is the ragged tooth shark, the smooth hound, spotted galley shark, but the main species down there for big game shark fishing is the bronze whaler shark. Now the bronze whaler shark is a very strong, powerful creature. It really is. It's got a solid muscle, big prominent fins, big tail, and it moves quite fast. So when it comes to our tackle, you've got to be quite prepared to be able to manage a big bite if it came along. So my tackle of choice was the new Berkeley Venom uh, Medusa Extra Large Rod. That's a 15 foot six rod, a lot of backbone, developed on the back of the Berkeley Air technology. It's a rod for catching big fish. And um, with that, I matched the Penn Spin Fisher 8500. It's a phenomenal reel at a price point which is absolutely fantastic. I've caught an abundance of large fish on it. It's got the HT100 drag system, which is quite watertight and very strong. All in all, a fantastic reel and perfect for fishing for fish like uh, bronze whaler sharks, ragged tooth, etc, etc. A fantastic all-round reel. Ooh, ooh. And uh, matched with the Berkeley uh, Medusa rod, that setup is absolutely fantastic. Hi, boy. How are you? It's quite important uh, when you're fighting quite a decent fish, especially on an ice big beach like that. You know, you, the way that they swim in the water, as soon as you turn that head towards you and it comes at an angle, you can literally just keep your, your line tight and your rod bent and just walk the beach so you're keeping that fish swimming in the same direction the whole time. Which means if its head's turned and he's swimming and you're gaining a little bit, he's swimming with the wave and with the swell, just keep it that tension and unless you give it a bit of slack, you should stay in that direction and you gain quite a lot of line back. Oh, good fish. Oh. Well, it's, um, with these bronzies, they've got these big peck fins. And all it's doing here is this bank that we're fishing on is just gliding from side to side, just using its big, big fins, big dorsal fin and every bit of current He's just cruising along the banks. And uh, that's, what they, that's what they're for, eh? you know, those, those big fins and that whole sickle-like body. It's, uh, it's all just built for power, you know. He's got to be dominant in what he does. And uh, these fish have to be that powerful. Yeah, well, we've got this fish right to the shore break now, and uh, hopefully Darren's going to go grab it. Uh, it's giving me a bit of a tough time in the current here. But, uh, you got to get it out. Tough, eh? Oh, tough. Oh, what a what a what an experience! <laughs> oh, uh, Darren told us that there was a few of these big bronzies around. I really didn't expect to catch one on our first cast, and uh, this is a quite a good-sized female. Looks like about I don't know, about 230 centimeters, probably about 160, maybe 170 kilos, and uh, hey, it was a proper fight. We when we saw it at the back, we didn't realize how big it was. We thought maybe 100 kilos, be lucky, but. Um, very stubborn and very strong. We got ourselves a big lady here, man. <laughs> well, as I was talking about these uh, these big pectoral fins, you can see why they, they fight the way they do and how stubborn they are in the surf. And all they do is just glide with this big dorsal fin and the big pec fins and the huge tail. It's an absolute beast of a fish and uh, super strong. Oh, what, a, what, a, what a great experience. And uh, Van Stardens is doing the job for us today. And apparently we got quite a good guide here, Mr. Dallin. Hey, my boy. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, get a few photos and get it back. <laughs> I 
battling to get my breath here. It was a bit of a tussle in the saw break. And it was quite funny seeing Darren getting thrown around by a bronze whale shark. <laughs> but anyway, now one of the reasons why we fish with fuse and circle looks is uh, not just because it gets the fish in the corner of the mouth, but if you have a look at my trace there, that fish was, I don't know, 160, 170 kilos and a huge mouth. But uh, with the hook sitting in the corner, what it does is with the braided line is that uh, there's not much play that um, if your hook was down the stomach, this wire would be in the teeth the whole time. If it's in the corner and the braid is so direct, it keeps the wire away from the, from the teeth and the business end. And you hardly get much damage on the line. So circle hooks definitely do have their pros and uh, not many cons. So that's it. Winner, good fish. And startings, yeah, I'm excited. Let the battle begin.